Great intro. Thank you, AJ and Jacques. So hi, welcome to Art Talk 186. In honor of Women's History Month, we'll be featuring female artists throughout the month. And to begin, we're going to be talking about British Syrian artist Yasmin Hayat. Yasmin Hayat first studied painting at the University of Arts London before specializing in the arts at the Prince's Foundation School of Traditional Arts. After graduating with distinction in geometry and miniature painting, Yasmin developed a language and process of painting, which is derived from an old Arabic style and incorporates contemporary Western and Indo-Persian techniques. Her work is considered a blend of Eastern and Western methodology, which she uses to explore themes of migration, heritage, and memory. Seen here on the left in 2018, Yasmin was awarded the Kairos Prize by His Royal Highness King Charles and Professor Keith Critchlow for her paintings, which preserve and celebrate traditional art practices and techniques. Yasmin experiments with pigments, which she makes from hand, from minerals, plants, and different types of earth. These tactile and luminous colors, which are consciously selected due to their relation to the painted subject, result in a dimensional finish, which transforms, moves, and reflects, just like the stories she's painting and depicting. Even when painted in a miniature, they stand out. Yasmin sources the raw materials from around the world and meticulously refines and processes these ingredients to craft an individualized palette, which is completely unique to each painting she creates. This miniature is quite a literal example of her blending her Middle Eastern and Western European, European heritage. This piece transports us to the Souk al Buzuria in Damascus, Syria, with the big mounds of colorful and fragrant spices, the intricately painted tiles, and the fresh tea and coffee. This market is located inside the walled city, the old walled city of Damascus, and is famous for its spice, spice vendors. And the colors Hayat uses pop even more against this sand colored background. Color is so important to Yasmin because it adds to the story of each painting she creates. What I love about this piece is that when you look at it as a whole, it has a shape and a rhythm to it. But on closer inspection, each sea creature has its own face and its own personality. So it just shows the detail that she puts into each of her pieces. Even though Hayat's work references ancient techniques and locations, her paintings can be quite modern. Uh, this piece seems like something conjured up in a dream with the bright orange foliage set against the starry night sky. In May of 2020, the head curator of the Aga Khan Gallery approached Yasmin and commissioned four Iznik-inspired ceramic plates, which celebrate the theme of paradise. So for this commission, Yasmin explored symbolic and frequently referenced fruits, pairing them with equally important flowers. And here's obviously an image from the exhibit. Here's Hayat's interpretation of Bahamut. Bahamut is an Arabic, um, is a monster that lies deep below, underpinning the support structure that holds up the earth. In this conception of the world, the earth is shouldered by an angel, which is supported by the cosmic beast or ox. Bahamut carries this bull on its back and is su suspended in water for its own stability. Swan Britain is a textile and design company that focuses on handmade craftsmanship. In 2020, Lulu Lytle of Swan Britain invited Yasmin to analyze an antique Egyptian tent panel. This conversation led to an exciting collaboration resulting in a unique geometric design being developed exclusively for Swan. The pattern titled Rumi is now available as part of Swan's Egyptomania collection. And in this image, the fabric is used as a curtain draping. And finally, we'll end on my personal favorite of her works. In her own words, Hayat describes Fatherland as a painting that evokes a sense of wonder and nostalgia for a land that is well-loved and wonderful. 
a place of memories, beauty, splendor, and home far away. This piece is kind of an amalgamation of all of her strengths in color, pattern, and texture. And she uses 24 karat gold to give this piece iridescence on Indian hemp paper. Yasmin Hayat is a young artist in the beginnings of her career. So she's someone to keep watching. Thanks everyone.